Hello and the full and this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a new discovery of yet another piece of evidence for the existence of Planet 9. An asteroid with some of the most extreme orbital parameters we've actually detected in our solar system and an asteroid that might actually be able to help us find out where exactly this planet is hiding. Welcome to What The Math. So for uh, over a year now we've been looking for Planet 9 without really much success, but in the last uh, few months we've discovered at least 22 uh, bodies orbiting past the orbit of Neptune, the so-called trans-Neptunian bodies, that seem to have um, orbit indicating that Planet 9 seem to exist. In other words, their orbits are so extreme, and I'm gonna try to show them to you right here by enabling the orbital parameters. Uh, that there is no other explanation other than some sort of an object somewhere out there that sort of shifted their orbit, made it very elliptical, and also made it very inclined. But the most recent discovery of an asteroid known as 2015 BP 519 really sort of makes it so that there is really no other explanation, or at least no better explanation other than some sort of an object out there that's influencing all of these orbits. Now, uh, this particular object was originally detected back in 2015, but it wasn't until practically May of 2018 when we were finally able to kind of come to a conclusion that this was an object with certain parameters, uh, very large semi-major axis, very large eccentricity, and also very large inclination, and we were able to calculate all of this relatively precisely. Now, let's actually place this object here just so I can show you what it looks like, and we're going to basically... Um, try to place it so that the, we can see where Planet 9 is located in, in relation to it as well. In terms of size, it's about the size of uh, the moon called Enceladus, the moon of Saturn, and um, it's about the same mass, and it's more most likely uh, spherical in shape, although it might have a less spherical shape than other objects. Um, and so for this reason, it most likely would qualify as some sort of a dwarf planet or a minor planet. Its uh, name is... 2015 BP 519 and so let's actually go into motion here and change its uh, parameters so that you can see where it's located. Now by the way this is Neptune here um, just to give you a comparison let's place Earth in there as well just so you can kind of see how far away all of this actually is. Earth would be at a distance of about one astronomical unit right there and here is Neptune and here, we're going to specify the location for 2015 BP 519. Its semi major axis is about, uh, on average, 415, uh, 450 astronomical units. Its size is about 200 to 400 kilometers. And uh, its eccentricity is ridiculous. It is actually very, very, very large, practically equivalent to a comet. It's about 0.92 or 92%. In other words, this is what its orbital shape is like. It's a very elliptical orbit. It comes relatively close to Neptune, but then it also leaves Neptunian um, orbit and goes on a really long trip around the Sun. Uh, so the apoapsis here is really, 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 really far away. Uh, we also have an inclination of about 51 degrees, which is really high. So it sort of looks like this. And this orbit, as you can see, is somewhat similar to these other orbits. Orbits of Sedna and all of these other objects don't, don't really have better names, are practically, uh, well, I wouldn't say identical, but similar in shape to what we've just discovered. And once again, this suggests that something, and I'm looking at you, Planet 9, wherever you are, is causing these objects to basically create or acquire such elliptical orbits with such a large semi-major axis, because Neptune by itself should not be able to do this. Uh, Neptune would not, is, first of all, it's not massive enough, but second of all, it's not really close enough, and it's actually would be doing the opposite. It would be decreasing the ellipti ellipticity of these objects. And inclination is definitely not explainable by Neptune. For all of these objects to have such a high inclination compared to the Sun, they would need to have, uh, well, essentially an object in high inclination, causing them to 
basically change uh, the shape of their orbit. In other words, let's just go back here for a second. For these objects to acquire such a weird inclination from this to this, they would definitely need to have uh, a very massive body creating such an unusual parameter. Now, where exactly this object is, where exactly Planet 9 is, we don't really know. And it's very likely that we might not find it for a long while. And it's also slightly possible that there might be another explanation, or maybe it's no longer there to begin with. Maybe all of these orbits were changed a long time ago, and Planet 9 may have actually left our solar system a uh, long, long time ago when something passed by and basically either captured it or kicked it out of our solar system. But nevertheless, 2015 BP519 is right now uh, the record holder for one of the most, if not the most extreme orbit in our solar system. And being a uh, minor planet, it's definitely going to be a very interesting object to study in the future. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and other than that, I guess, subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos, and most importantly, come back tomorrow to learn more about various planets you might have not known before, and we're actually going to discuss uh, Planet 9 sometime in the future, so do come back and make sure not to miss that video. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.